everybody, and welcome to a live play from Grey Elephant Gaming. I am Tim Norris, a.k.a. Grey Elephant. And this is Carmen, or Femme Elephant. That's her over there. Okay, we're playing Marvel Legendary, obviously. And we drew our scheme. And this scheme uh, actually says there are eight uh, scheme twists that are in the villain deck. Twelve total bystanders as well. So each villain will get a plus one uh, attack or health for each bystander that it has. If... At any time we pull a scheme twist out of the villain deck, uh, that means that the villain or the bad dude that's in the bank will capture two additional villains. So, there's a look at that card for you real quick. So that's what we're battling against, but our mastermind is Magneto. And Magneto takes eight for uh, us to defeat him. And whenever a master strike is revealed, it says each player must reveal an X-Man hero or they discard down to four cards. We do have X-Men in our hero stack, so why don't we go ahead and start our game. Let's take the first five cards from the hero stack, flip them over, and my lovely assistant is doing so. And we have three Deadpools, one Hawk, and one Wolverine. And I guess Carmen will go first, so she's gonna flip, and she flipped a Bystander, so she's gonna kinda have a free pass here. Now, we will lose this uh, scenario if we uh, let eight bystanders escape. So, Carmen has four money and two attack. So, I can spend my money. Okay, just so you know, the, the cost of the card is listed down here at the bottom. So, right now she can afford to either get a Wolverine, a Hulk, a Deadpool, or she can go ahead and get Maria Hill from the... Uh, I am going to choose Hulk. Uh, why not? Hulk man. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I draw my six. We go ahead and replace her card, and then let's go ahead and draw the top card of the villain deck. Ah, we have Hand Ninjas. Okay, so Hand Ninjas, I have to come up with three attack to be able to defeat them. If I do, then I would get plus one money. However, they do have a bystander that they have captured because a bystander was waiting, so therefore they're, I have to come up with four attack. So that's not going to happen. Well, actually it did, so I actually drew... All four of my shield agents right off the bat, plus two money. So, hmm. uh, unfortunately, I can't afford any of these things. But, because I do defeat him with my four, and uh, I'll put my... Now you get an additional money. I get one additional money, that's right. So I can buy something for three. Um, hey, look, we got the best Deadpool that came out already. That's pretty sweet. I don't think I've ever uh, played with that one. I think I'll actually go ahead and buy this Deadpool here. It gives me two money... And he says that a villain of your choice captures a bystander whenever I actually uh, decide to use him. So I can that way try to get more bystanders. I have a bystander again. And four money. I'm going to have a lot of money my next turn. I'll have six. Woohoo! Hmm. So four money and two attack. I'll take a Wolverine. Okay. So let's flip that over. Ah, nice. So we also have, it looks like... Um, Emma Frost in the deck. So, I'm trying to remember who our last hero is. I can't remember who he drew. So, my turn, I do have the six money. Um, so, I think that I will go ahead and buy this Deadpool here. And what he says is that you get plus one attack for each... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to flip my villain. My bad. Oh, that's a hand ninja again. And he does have himself a bystander. But anyways, this says you get plus one attack for each... Other hero with an odd number money. So the money, he costs five. Now that doesn't work for him. But each other odd number uh, hero that I play for their money, he will give me plus one attack. So don't forget to flip your villain. A scheme, scheme twist. twist. Okay, so that says that we will have to show an X-Men hero or we're going to have to discard down to four cards. I don't have any X-Men heroes, so... Two, da, da, da. Six. All I have is two dead pools, so I know I'm going to have to discard. Um, I'll go ahead and discard these two guys, these two shield troopers, and keep my money. So You may KO a wound from your hand or discard pile. I do not have a wound. Yep, but he's still two attack. Two, three, four, nice. five attack. Well, that's definitely enough to get him. Plus, that'll give you one extra money. Nice. So I have two money plus the extra. So that gives you three monies. 
I'll take Emma Frost. Yep, Emma Frost is pretty good. I like her. Ah, speaking of that, she flipped up again. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and flip my villain. Ah, Mystique. Mystique becomes a scheme twist that takes effect immediately if she escapes. I think the artwork on her is really awesome, and I love the fact she's turning into half Iron Man. I thought that was really cool. But if Mystique actually makes it all through here and gets to the escape to villain pile, she will become a scheme twist. So, uh, I only have four money because I had to discard, uh, but I like that one an awful lot. Mm. Um, but I do love this Gambit card too, but if I get that, I have to try to put my hopes that I get another two. So, I will go ahead and grab this Emma Frost so I get an X-Man so I can hopefully combat his... Uh, Oh, and it would have been. Darn, that would have been awesome. Uh, th this, <laughs> it would have been the same card. Yeah, this Gambit allows you to draw two cards, and then you can choose any cards okay. to put back in your deck. It's pretty cool. My so three, villain four, five, is six. Baron Zemo. All right, so she will move down to the bank. And if we do end up uh, drawing a scheme twist... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we should have done... We accidentally did the scheme twist for him. The scheme twist would have been that... Two bystanders would have been captured by this criminal. I'm sorry, we reversed that. I apologize. So I should not have discarded. That's a master strike. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. I apologize. So <laughs> if you are watching, I did figure that out. We drew a scheme okay. twist, so which we'll meant. Go ahead and put these no, on no, 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 no. Because she was not actually in the bank when that occurred. So oh, we're, we're okay. okay. So no, no. You just bys... should. You should not have discarded. I just should not right? have discarded. That's okay. all. But well, it wouldn't have affected anything. I only have three attacks. I can't do anything and um then i have four money mm -hmm. um, i know you could get those two oh yeah. yeah those are good cards <laughs> I, I love I really this like card them. it's draw two cards then put a card from your hand any card from your hand back on top of the deck very powerful it's very awesome i agree 100 percent. so i'm going to go ahead and draw my villain oh mystique again so we have uh, one Mystique, we have Baron Zemo, and another Mystique, and uh, they're trying to escape here. We don't want that to happen. So, why don't I go ahead, and I definitely don't want to use his ability, but I do have plus two attack for Deadpool. Um, that gives me three attack. He is an odd number uh, character here, so let me slide these over a little bit better for you. So, uh, this, this uh, Deadpool says I get plus one attack for any other character that has an odd number to them, well he does, he's a 3, so that'll actually make him 3, 4 attack, which still isn't enough to do anything, but I also do have 2, 3, 4, 5 money. 5 money, yay! So with 5 money, I think I'll go ahead and grab another one of these Deadpools here, and uh, that'll start stacking on top of one another, so. Okay, make sure you draw your villain. Hand ninjas. Ah, man, we're starting to get scared here. I think she's going to end up escaping Let's on us see. if we're not careful. Get this money out of the way. So, three monies. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. I want to play my gambit card first. Ah, nice. I love the gambit cards. I'm actually going to spin our victory points around like this so that we'll have more room to play our cards. And it'll also give us a little divider here in the center. Looks kind of funny because we both have the exact same things. We have uh, defeated. Okay. We have the best Wolverine and the best Deadpool out here currently, which is pretty sweet. Now it's just a matter of trying to get them. One, two, four, five, six. All right. So what you got? Well, I got another Gambit card. <laughs> oh, nice. So that Gambit allows you to draw two cards off your uh, draw pile. You get to then add them to your hand, but then you must choose one card out of your hand to discard uh, back on top of your draw pile. So that is really a sweet card. Okay, so... Um, now, he doesn't give you any money or any attack. That's the only no, but bad what thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, trooper back because... One more attack's not going to do me any good, mm -hmm. but it might help me on my next turn. Oh, so well, there you go. So you play two of the gambits. So I have three attack, and I can get this. Oh, very nice. So you did get the, and that does give you one additional money that you get to use for spinning. That means and I have five money. Five money, sweet. Uh, well, you do have a Wolverine. This only costs two, and it would allow you to draw a card. Plus, he has one attack. Um, this Deadpool at a, well, both these Deadpools are the Okay, I'll we'll take a Deadpool okay. and a Wolverine. Well, you can always try oh. to, well, you wouldn't be able to afford it, so there you go. There we go. 
Oh my goodness, the best Hulk, the best Wolverine, and the best Deadpool yeah, are currently available. Them. Okay, so a bystander <laughs> come out, so that would actually, I believe, go to Mystique here. And uh, then I would play my turn. So I'm not going to do very much here, unfortunately. But I do have three attack, which isn't going to do me a lick of good, and four money. Um, with four money, I think I'll go ahead and buy this Hulk. So, there we go. And it is Jotun. Mm. Draw a card. Oh, I forgot to flip my villain. Yes, you did. It's another Three, four, bystander. Five, six. Okay, now Mystique's uh, health has actually gone from. I got it for you. Mystique's health has gone from five to now seven because this uh, scenario says that for every bystander she has, her her health increases by that many points for every bystander she has. Okay, so you've got. Okay, nice. So two, three, four, five attack. Uh, you could get this mystique. There we go. Nice. You're really doing well. And then you do have one money, two, three money. Uh, you can either buy him or you could buy Maria. One or the Might other. as well buy him. He's okay. Same exact same thing. Her, Plus much. he's got an ability. So, oh my goodness! Look at this. The best Hulk, the best Gambit, the best Wolverine, and the best Deadpool are all out. That. Okay, all right, so we have the Juggernaut. Now, the Juggernaut has an ambush ability. It says each player KOs two heroes from their discard pile listed on his card. And what that means is that will actually take effect immediately. Whenever a, a villain pops up with an ambush, you go through your discard. So I'm going to have to discard two characters. I'm going to get rid of this guy, and I'll get rid of that guy, one of each. A shield trooper and a shield agent, so. I'll get rid of two shield agents. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, play him. That gives me uh, one attack, or two attack, three attack, four attack, five attack, which again, I can't do anything. I keep falling just one short, and only two money. So my entire turn is for naught, unfortunately. I can't do a lick of anything, so a lick of good anywhere. So unfortunately, I discard, and it is your turn. Oh, nice. So now Juggernaut even has himself a bystander, huh? So we're going to have to try to get some big money going here to try to start oh, getting boy. some of these heroes. I can't get anybody. I've only got three attack. Yeah, yeah. We've got some high attack characters out here. I've got four money. Well, you could get her. So let's go ahead and we'll flip. All right, so that's a good Wolverine card. Yeah, that is. So I have four, five, six cards I'm drawing. Let me go ahead and flip my villain, and it's a hand ninja again. So this is kind of starting to look bad. Now it's nice that we've got all these superpower heroes here, but the problem is trying to afford all these guys. It's going to be really tough for us. So, all right. So let's see what we can do. Um, I have three attack, which can get me that hand ninja. So I will defeat that hand ninja, which gives me one additional bonus money now. So that would give me one money for defeating him. That'd be three money, four money, five money, six money that I have. I am one short of trying to get oh. one of these two guys, which really stinks. Well, this is a good card. It is a good card, but it's still not what I would like. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go ahead and grab that one, though. So. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an excellent card. <laughs> yeah. All right, so another hand ninja. Good. We're kind of getting lucky that there's so many hand ninjas coming out. Draw a so card. <laughs> Draw two cards. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's great. Hopefully you'll get that game, but again. Draw two cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's doing great here. Okay. She got both of her gambits I and gotta her... i got to decide which one's um, going back now. She got both of her gambits, and she also got her Emma Frost, which is letting her go through her deck pretty quick here. Uh, just like any deck builder, this one works the exact same way. You know, you want to get cards that allow you to try to get the other cards out of your deck into your hand. So, uh, these cards work perfect for that. Draw a card. Okay. Nice. So, she's drawing again. Plus, she does have three attack now working. Uh, she has three, four, five, six attack. Uh, you and could, I'm done. could get the Baron. 
And uh, for each one of your Avenger heroes, you rescue a bystander. Do you have any? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. You've got the Hulk. So you actually get to take a bystander as well. And you get to add him to your victory pile. So awesome. Great job. And you have how much money? Two, three, four, five. Five money. So you could get that awesome Emma uh -huh. Frost. That's a great Emma Frost. That's not yeah. the most powerful one, but it's a really, really good she one. She says, each player may reveal another hero, X-Man hero, and each player who does draws a card. I like drawing cards. Okay, so we're going to slide her down, slide him, slide her hand ninja. We do have another hand ninja that has appeared. Um, I have Hulk for two power. I have my um, Deadpool for two attack, so that's four. I have five attack, and I have three money. So I will go ahead and attack this hand ninja. Uh, that will give me one additional money, so that'll make me have four money. Um, I guess I will go ahead and grab uh, this gambit here, and that would only leave me with one money left, which is not enough to do anything with. So right now, Kermit is definitely doing much better than I am. So this hand ninja will take a bystander, and one, two, three. Another Emma Frost. Draw a card. Yeah, she's going to really do well with them two gambits and that Emma Frost. She's going to be able to go through her deck real nice. Oh, hold on. Um, each player may reveal another X-Man hero. Each oh, okay. player who does three, draws four, a card. Five, six. I hope I have an X-Man hero. I do. And I do. I have an Emma Frost, actually, so I get to draw a card myself. Two cards. Nice. That worked out. Nice. She's doing it again. She keeps getting that, that combo, being able to draw a card with Emma and then get to draw more. So let's go ahead and we'll get your money and your abilities here separated a bit. Right now she has three attack and one money. And now she has three, four, five, six, seven attack. And uh, one, two, three, four, five money. So seven attack and five money. So you could get this Mystique here. Or you could get him, yes. So, boom, great job. Wow, you're doing really, really good. And five money. Only five, so it looks like uh, looks like him. That's actually pretty good. He's still two attack, and yeah, that does leave you two. Have any wounds, though. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be getting so many wounds. So okay. Oh, a master strike. Okay, this is the master strike, okay? So let's go ahead and bring it up there so you can see it. Now, I messed up with confusing this with the scheme twist, but a master strike is when we must show an X-Man hero. If we have one, we're okay. But if you do not, then you must discard down to four cards. I do have one. Do you? No. Okay, so you must discard two cards out of your hand. And uh, I'll go ahead and start taking my turn here. So let's see. All right, I'll go ahead and play my Deadpool. Uh, he gives me two, two attack, and plus for every odd um, cost uh, hero, I'm going to be able to add one to his attack. Well, um, I could do that because he is an odd cost, and he is an odd cost. So now his attack is four. So we'll add that. So four, five, six. Now... Something I can do if I wanted, but I don't need to, is that I could activate her ability because Deadpool here has this little symbol that matched her symbol that could activate her ability. And that says that if I want to, I could play the top card of the villain deck. They need to take her out. And if I do, then uh, it would give me plus two attack. But I've already got four with him. Five, six, seven, oh. eight. <laughs> I've already got eight attacks. They're so to take her out anyway. I really don't need to do that. But you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to hit yeah. our uh, Mastermind once here. So what I do there is I'm just going to select one of these cards here that is underneath him because it does take eight hits to hurt him. And it says, choose one of your X-Men heroes when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. Add that hero to your hand as a seventh card. So, nice. I only have one X. Well, I got two. But I'm definitely going to make sure I keep the Emma Frost. She's going to carry over to me with me to the uh, next uh, hand. So... Why don't I go ahead? I had two, four, five money as well. I'll go ahead and just grab this Hulk here and add him to my hand. So, nice, uh, 
not too bad of a round for me. At least I was able to, we hit him three more times, and that would be the game. Five and six. I can't do anything. Oh, no. Bummer. Um, I could give somebody a bystander, though, so I'll Oh man, why are you gonna do that? <laughs> he just increased his power. Uh, is Black Widow? She's not in here. No, is we she? don't have Black oh, Widow. Okay. Thank goodness. She works off of bystanders. Yeah, so. yeah. You always kill me when. Okay, <laughs> another Master Strike. So you have to reveal an X Men hero, which obviously okay. I do have one because I was able to keep them up. And Bing. you have a Wolverine. Very good. So neither one of us uh, have to discard down this time. So. Let's see here. Seems like I'm constantly shuffling. Alright, so she's to attack. Um, Wolverine is to attack. Neither one of them can activate their specials. He has one attack. That gives me five attack. And I do have four money. So I will go ahead and defeat him. If you fight Whirlwind on the rooftops or bridges, KO two of your heroes. Well, he was in the sewers, so that's too bad. I would have liked to have KO two of my heroes, actually. <laughs> um, I have four money, so I'll just grab a Maria Hill and add her to my hand because there's no other cards. We've got too many of the big cost uh, guys out there, unfortunately. Scheme Twist. Okay, a Scheme Twist means this Hand Ninja now is going to actually gain two nice. more bystanders. Good good thing you added that one bystander to him, huh? <laughs> now his uh, health, or his attack, would be three, four, five, six, seven. And hers is seven as well, so... Ew. That's good. Because now you can't do anything again, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope. Okay, so you get to draw a card with her uh, Emma Frost. And to attack with uh, her Wolverine. And another attack, but she gets to draw a card because the symbol matched uh, his ability to, uh, to activate. And she gets to draw two cards with her Gambit card, and then choose one card out of her hand to discard. So right now you're at three attack and one money. Okay. Oh. You choose Then it. put it on top of uh -huh. my deck. You said discard, so you can... Did I? I'm it. sorry. Yeah. yeah, you put it back on top of your deck. Okay, so that's three. Uh-huh. Uh, Hulk Four, five, card. So now six. you've got your attack over here. That was your money pile. Seven. Nice, nice. Eight. Oh, yes. Nine. Okay, well, with nine attack, you could hit the Mastermind again. You want to choose any card. Choose a card. Mm, if you get lucky, one fun. of them lets you recruit an X-Man. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. Okay. Recruit an X-Man hero from the HQ for it's free. Either one of these two. Now, if I was to suggest... Now, both of them are really good. The, the, the Gambit says he's already got four attack. Reveal the top card of your deck. You get plus attack equal to the card's cost. So that's awesome. If she drew her Emma Frost by any chance, she would get you know seven attack for him. Then uh, the Wolverine has a zero attack. However, his attack will immediately go up as long as he has the little symbol here is yeah. met. And what that does is it gives him one attack for every card you draw this turn. Oh yeah, that Gambit card's pretty sweet. So well, that may very that's... well win you the game there, woman. Three, four, five, six. Great job. Great job. Yeah, I was hoping I was going to draw that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I knew that middle card looked tempting. All right, so I have two, four, five attack, and three money. Nothing special happening here, so I will defeat the Whirlwind. And uh, with only three money, I'll go ahead and grab another Maria Hill, I think. So, all right. Mm. And it is. You know what? I'm sorry. I don't want that Maria Hill. I, I didn't realize that that game was available, so I'd rather have that one. So, okay, go ahead. Six. A bystander. Another bystander for the hand ninja. Our hand ninja is just collecting bystanders, ain't he? So now his uh, health is up to eight. Nice. I should give him some more bystanders with these. Uh, here, hold this card. That would be brilliant. You yeah. Should. You already did it once, might as well. Oh my goodness, so two, four, five, six, seven. Boom. Uh, you may gain a wound to your hand, then each player passes a card from their hand to the player on their left. Oh, that's weird. And he's automatically <laughs> a six attack. <laughs> well, that's two. Uh, I like that, that's nice. Well, I'd imagine you do. 
That's two of the best cards so far, so this game's pretty well just about to go straight into her favor. <laughs> so I draw. Hey, hey, we're on a team. No, we're not doing a team now. It's all about me at this point. <laughs> <laughs> there is no team. I in team. Team Schmeem, whatever. Okay, so... Competitive co-op. I'm going to go a two attack. However, for every odd card, which is him, so that'd make him a three attack. Uh, be him, makes him four attack. So four... 5-6 attack, which I can defeat him, and uh, I also have 2, 3, 4, 5 money, which I can grab that as well, so uh, he's pretty cool. He'll give me a bonus uh, points at the end of the game uh, for every one of these characters that have that little symbol up there. It looks like a little uh, circuit board. Uh, he'll give me one extra victory point at the end of the game. Which probably Whoops, ain't gonna he's upside down. Alright, so if every time you fight him, each player reveals an X-Man hero or gains a wound when you fight him. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like we pretty well got this in hand. I, I'm not looking or worried that we're not gonna defeat Magneto, but I'm just worried I'm gonna beat my wife, and I want to beat her, so. Each player reveals another X-Man. I do have an X-Man. Yay, Shannon, draw a so card. Draw a card. Oh good, this is sweet. Alright, and you're about to just slaughter me here if you start getting your specials. So. Got two cards! Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> it's about to begin. <laughs> so, hopefully you're drawing your good ones, your powerful heroes. And if you are, goodness. I'm not. Oh good, well actually I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay, so you get to draw another card, because he, heart seed, oh, that did meet the criteria. I realize that. Uh -huh. So right now you're at three, four, five attack. And six, seven. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do the ability because nobody is. A, well, actually, yes, yeah, he did. So yeah. you could if you wanted to. So she has the capacity to play, which would end up being three, four, five, six, seven. That would give you nine attack, which means you could hit him mm -hmm. there. But she has to play the top card from the villain deck to be able to do that, which I probably would because I think we pretty well got the game in hand. I can get this so. guy. I would hit him. Why not? That's how you win is we beat him and you've got, you're pretty well in, in control here. So I would definitely go for the mastermind. Plus we're just trying to show everybody how to do it. Play, so. <laughs> in the game, Carmen, stop drawing it <laughs> so out. Let's right? go ahead and see okay. what the top card is. And it's another Omnitron. So let's slide them, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Ultron. So go ahead and select one of them too. Boom, what you get? Each other player reveals an X-Man hero or gains two wins. Well, I do have an X-Man hero. In fact, i got like three of them in my hands, so, or two, so I'm safe there. Okay. So that gives you only one attack left. You have four money, so you've definitely got the game well in hand. So let's see what I can do here. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have to mix this you real need quick. To flip your yes, I do. Can you do that for me? Steam twist. All right. So that just means that uh, Sabretooth will gain two bystanders. And we'll add them underneath his card. So now his health went to seven. So my only hope here is, is that hopefully I can be the last to hit him. And because uh, right now she's going to start destroying me real fast. So all right. So I have two attack with Hulk, and I do have uh, the his uh, little symbol here matches. So it says here I get to reveal the top card of my deck. I get to discard it or put it back. Um, well, I'm going to put it back, and I actually because I met the symbol, I get to do the same to you. So, I'm going to go ahead and discard your Shield uh, Trooper and get rid of him. Well, that's, it says discard, right? Uh, discard. I'm sorry, discard. I'm sorry. Thank you. I always, uh, I jumped the gun there. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and play her too, so that gives me four attack, five attack, six attack, and five money. So, six attack, I will go ahead and get him again, and with five money, I will go ahead, I think, and get... Emma Frost. And that would be the end of my turn. And this is probably going to open. Master strike. So reveal the next main hero. If you do, you're safe. So let me see if I got one. I have Gambit. And I do. I have uh, two. I have Wolverine and I have Gambit. So, Alright, so draw on a card. And she might end the game here. I'm pretty confident she will. She only has to muster up eight attack. And that'll be pretty well it, and we'll add up our victory points. Well, that's it. Boom. So, oh, too bad. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't give me so, any extra. So she would have been able to get as many um, 
attack points as the cost of this card. Unfortunately, he costs zero, so, but you still have four attack. Now, do you get to leave that card there? Does it say? And it says reveal. Just reveal. Okay, so. All right, so you got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven attack. So you can certainly hit him. For each of your X Men heroes, rescue a bystander. How many X Men heroes you got? One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is getting ugly. All right, so you got them four, and that would pretty well be the game. Now there is uh, what we like to call the overdrive mode. Uh, this is our Mexican standoff. We've got one mastermind card left, okay? So what the game says is that basically we're going to shuffle up our decks. So go ahead and just shuffle your discard pile. Oh, I'm shuffling. Yeah. Uh, this is the way we do it. So whether or not that's actually the way the rules state or what. Now here's what happens. The game is pretty well over, but we can try to tag the mastermind one last time. So basically this whole showdown is, is between her and I as to who can muster up the most attack and money points combined, and whoever comes up with the highest gets that last card. So, two, three, four, five, six, and then she'll draw one six more. as well. One more. Why would I draw one more? No, I'm shuffling oh. one more time. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, I guess I'll just go first because she actually did uh, take her turn technically. So. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So I will play my Hulk card, and then I'm going to play my Gambit card, which says reveal the top card of your deck, discard it, or put it back. Uh, I will put it back, and I get to do the same to her. I will discard yours. Or discard, I'm sorry. I do that? Okay. Now I do have the little symbol, which means now I can play my Wolverine, which allows me to draw two cards. I drew him again. So I get to draw two more cards again. This might uh -oh. get me some points here. Yeah. So um, I do have that one. And let's see here. Unfortunately, darn, I can't use my Emma Frost's ability. But I do have two more attack with her, an attack, and then three more. So my total combined is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points total. Let's see what you got. Okay. I combined my total attack with my total money to come up with that. Oh, goodness, here we go. Oh, three. So now his attack is seven. Nice job. Seven, that and would be... And then you get to draw him. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is ugly. So you're at eight points. Nine, ten points. Eleven points. 12, 13 points, 14 points, and 13, 14, 15, 16. So did we tie? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You're 16? Uh, he was 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> so you get that one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add up our points. Our points are listed in these little red dots that are right there. If I don't know, I hope you can see that, but that's a one point. So we're going to take all our cards, add them up, and I'm pretty confident Carmen crushed me. Nineteen. Forty. <laughs> Forty points to Carmen, nineteen to me, and we hope you enjoyed this wonderful game, guys. We have a lot of fun. We've been playing this an awful lot to the point where I'm certainly going to have to start sleeving these after I'm done with these videos because we are wearing the crud out of these cards. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.